Okay, I just do a quick video here on attachment points. Uh, this is focused on application engineers, so I'm going to use my Haas catalog and do a quick demo real quick. So if I drag out my Haas VF2, you can see this little turquoise thing here. That is an attachment point. So it will attach my the HRT A6 if I let this thing go, so I'm dropping it on the door, the HRT A6, also you can see it right here, has an attachment point. And those attachment points are labeled. So this is Haas underscore N for neutral. And this is, um, this label is going to have to have the same name if I can get it to highlight. So you can see there Haas underscore N. Now if we look at this one again, this one is HRT underscore N. Um, so if I pull out this quick change plate, if I drop it here, it's going to stay because there's not an attachment point associated with this part and the um, and the and the VF2. So I'll go ahead and delete that, but it is on this part. So I'm going to drag this quick change out and drop it on the HRT. And it's going to align itself. And then you can see there's another one here for TS, and that's tail stock or tail support. So I'll drag this one out again. If I let it go here, it's not going to work. I need to touch the part that the attachment points are related to. So <clears throat> the question is, how did we do that? So let me go ahead and delete these. It's not rocket science or anything, but there is a process involved. Um, this HRT 210 does not have an attachment point. And this um, Haas VF2 does have an attachment point. So let's go ahead and look at this relationship real quick. You can see the two attachment points are aligned with each other properly. And it looks to me like that is through the center of this hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to delete both of these. And I'm going to bring out this HRT210. And you can see it has that same hole. So with it selected, I'm going to go to, this would have been good for me to figure out where it was. I had to look for it last time too. Tools and attachment points. So I'm going to select this attachment point. And what I've noticed is you want to select the part and then I select the attachment point and then I can come down here and apply it. Okay. And now you've got the long and the short. I'm going to go ahead and activate that tri ball and align it similar to, well, not similar. It needs to be aligned the same way that the the one on the Haas VF is aligned. So we'll do another 90 here and then we'll do 90 here. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do center point of this and that is the proper alignment. Now we just need to name it so I'm going to right click on it and set name and up here I'm going to type Haas and then underscore in. And when I do in, you'll notice that this neutral highlights. So I'll go in. Okay. And we'll hit OK. <clears throat> so then what I'm going to do is delete this from my catalog by selecting it, right click and delete. And then I will drag this HRT210 back into the catalog because now it's saved with that um, attachment point and then we just need to test it so out comes the VF2 and then I'm going to drag this HRT drop it on the door bam and there she is nice and aligned now the HRT does not have an attachment point for that quick change plate and 
that can be done in the same fashion as the as we did on this HRT 210.